What did you see, Larry? What did you see? Team Deathmatch. Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is Psychotic Gaming, and you are now watching my first commentary. And today's topic is going to be about a little bit of Call of Duty refreshments. Now, it enters the time. It's been about six months since the release date of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And comes the time in every gamer's life to play Call of Duty that they start to get a little bored with the game. And this is where people try to start doing unorthodox classes, whether it be White Boy, Seven Streets, Chopping Block class, you know, running a riot shield with a battle axe. Something people don't normally do when the game first comes out. Everybody's all try hard assault rifles, FMGs. You get the quick scopers, no scopers with all the montages. And now it's time that people either start trying new classes or they even go back and play old Call of Duties. If you notice, if you watch YouTube a lot, you'll see a lot of more multi COD montages or older mo COD montages. Like, people go back to Modern Warfare 2, they go back to Modern Warfare 3, they're not having it anymore with the current one that's out. If you notice, last year, I can't remember exactly what time it was around, it was either between DLC 2 and 3, or after 3, Modern Warfare 3 kind of got smart, you know, they decided to, let's listen to the community and bring out some game modes that they make in the custom game modes. You know, first one was, I'm pretty sure it was Infected, then they came out with Drop Zone, and then all came All or Nothing, UAV One in the Chamber, uh, Killer MW3 Drone ready for Awesome, deployment. and Money in the Dank. Count you know, UAV try to keep players standby. interested in playing their game until the next Call of Duty comes out, UAV which inbound. doesn't really seem plausible. Friendly Hunter Killer Drone deployed. You know, you're still going to get old with it. Same maps, same guns, same players, everything. And then they even upped themselves and came out with a whole new game type, which was the face-off. You know, the 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and instead of all the little rage haters in the lobby, oh, 1v1 me, instead of having to go set up a private match and set up all the rules, you know, they already had the 1v1 with smaller maps. They even created smaller maps just for this game type. Well, anyways, what you're watching right now is a little gameplay with me and my buddy King Alfred, Reloading. and this is a refreshment class. I'm running the Gold Ballista Iron Sights with a silencer. Now, this idea came to me from, I think it was Faze Pomage. He created a class that was an Iron Sight Ballista Silence and was running it on free for all. And to me, you know, it's a really it's a good test to see how good of a sniper you are, you know. You have to be more dead on aim. You definitely have to aim upper chest, if not higher. You know, go for head shots and then throw the silencer on there. You definitely have to make your shot count. Now, to me, you know, one shot, one kills are what you definitely go for. But if you have enough accuracy, good timing, good cover, and everything to where you can get a hit marker and then pop right back out and finish off the kill, to me, that makes you a pretty damn good sniper. You know, to have that accuracy twice without getting killed. But uh, anyways, I'm also rocking the gold MP7. I can't remember what all I had in my class. I'm pretty sure it was scavenger. I always run scavenger. That's just how I am. I don't want to have to worry about picking up somebody else's gun. And probably lightweight and dexterity. I was running no tacticals in a C4. Yes, I'm a C4 whore. C4 has saved my life on numerous counts. And I just love it. It's perfect for me. But, uh, yeah, a little gameplay here. I went, I think in the end, 1911, it starts off a little slow. Can't remember exactly how many kills I got with the Blissa, but, you know, I did, I did pretty good in my part. Hostile um, UAV above. So, yeah, I'm new to YouTube. I probably have about seven or eight videos out there right now. And, you know, I only have about eight subscribers, a total of 201 views. So, you know, I'm definitely newer to it. And I decided to go ahead and do my first commentary. You've lost the lead. Now, my reason for that is editing is just so much work, even for a newbie to editing like myself, because it's just, you know, you got to go for clips. You know, only clips, even if you have a really decent game, you might only have a double kill here, double kill there. You know, it's not the all going to be. Hostile counter UAV you know, is online. You don't have to worry about getting quads and collaterals and 
you know, crazy no scopes and trick shots and shit like that. You know, you just get a good gameplay, then go ahead and do a commentary on it. You got a topic, go ahead and talk to the people. That's what people like to watch. Now, to me, it seems like the wait between DLC 2 and DLC 3 is the longest. And I think that's why Modern Warfare 3 decided, let's go ahead and throw them a couple bones here between DLC 2 and 3, and I'm pretty sure that's what Infected and Drop Zone came out. Everything else might have came out after DLC, DLC 3, I'm not too sure. And, uh, sorry if I keep stopping, if I keep pausing, you know, taking breaths. This is my first commentary. This is all off the top of my head. This is not scripted. I didn't write anything down. I already kind of had an idea of what I wanted to talk about, but... You know, I didn't have all the wording and everything down perfectly. I knew exactly what gameplay I wanted to use the day I played it, you know. I've been wanting to do a commentary. I actually just bought my mic T two days ago. It came in the mail. So this is a fresh mic. It's working pretty good in my opinion, but yeah. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. And this is Psychotic9 or Logan with Psychotic Gaming on YouTube and just let me know how I did on my first commentary and there will definitely be more to come. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to talk to my friend King Alfred on Xbox that this match was with and try to see if we can get a dual commentary split screen on a match that me and him did pretty good on Turbine. But uh, other than that, Psychotic Gaming signing off.